is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling problem with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 30, Nasdaq flat, S&P's off 20, gold contract down $33, trade at $19.01 an ounce. We got silver down 52 cents, $23.73 an ounce, light sweet crude off three bucks. $99.16 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note. Up 25 ticks, trading 119.23. 30 year up a full point and 19 ticks. 141.22 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 543 ticks, trading at 101.763. The Euro is at 107. The Yen is at 127.95. And the British Pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring up the futures first, folks, because this has been quite a day. There's no doubt about that. Quite a Friday on the way down. You know, you get the SPY as well as the NDX 100 and confirmed ABC structures down, and they haven't hit their price projectives yet. So when you're taking a look at this, the, the S&P themselves, okay, today, this is the third time it's trying to, well, it, the third time it actually did get into the positive. And guess what? Each time it's failing. And right now, the longer that it stays under this uh, 4253, the more probability is that you don't have to go back to the bottom because we don't have a high volume low. But bottom line is that this thing can get down to 4216 in about a heartbeat. And at that level, you know, bottom line, you just get a sideways move in the marketplace. And I expect that's what we're doing. We're building cars here, folks, for lower price. We go take a look at the um, NQs because the NQs were stronger today than the ND than the S and P's. Bottom line, the NQs are still up 21. When I when I started the update, they they were up 85. So pretty intense, man. Uh, that being said, what you have with the NQs? See the NQs when we just took out the the, the spike from this morning at 10:30 this morning, the market tried to make it, gave it up. NQs went from 13446 all the way back down to. 13,243, you know, so you went down 200 points. Well, guess what? We just took that out, failed on the takeout, and you had volume come off the highs. So bottom line, my take, this, this, these NQs could actually go, go back down to a 236, which is another 125 points from where we are right now. So you're talking about an intense market out here, no doubt. Gold. Talking about intense, they whacked the gold market. Bottom line, you, they whacked it with volume. You get uh, 215,000 contracts out here. And I believe we're going into, we're going into a couple hundred thousand, but this is still not a great setup. Yeah, we're going into 215, we've done 215. And it hasn't held price. That's saying that, guess what? You can come all the way back to 1857. You know, we broke topside at 1870. It's, it's 
that's game. That's the bottom line. It's going to be if we go over to the good old dollar and we take a look at the dollar, what you're going to see with the dollar, what's sticking out like a sore thumb, is the 102.979. You know, we got, uh, you got an expansion up. I take this, we put this on a three or four year. What you're going to see quite clearly is that that's what it's going for. That, those highs up there, 102.992, 102.979. That's where these babies are going. Some of the higher volume equities out here today in this market, you know, we came down Friday with some good volume. Uh, Twitter, yeah, so you got Elon Musk, uh, EW, uh, TWTR, is taking Twitter private at 5420. You got to love the number, right? 5420. <laughs> um, this is going to be a trip, man. I mean, because the bottom line is this is how, you know, the bank is a greedy, he's greedy, whole ball of wax. And we'll see whether that was the price to pay for Twitter. You know, uh, when you take a look at it, man, he's going to have to grow that thing like crazy for the price that he paid. But he convinced the bank is that, guess what? Let's do it. Because when you take a look at this, look, you, you, last year they took in $5.1 billion and they brought 20 cents to the bottom line. They're claiming this year they're going to take in $6 billion and bring $0.72 cents to the bottom line. Now, that's quite an expansion. I'd love to know how they're going to do it. Hey, we'll see if they do it. Because right now, what he paid is that it's somewhere, I'm not quite sure. Well, if you're looking at my screen, you get the estimated P.E. and then the P.E. He's paid somewhere between $72 per dollar of earnings and $141. I'm not quite sure which one to, to look at that right there. But the bottom line, he paid a lot of money to take it private, and that's going to be a cash deal, so more than likely that's, that's going to go through. That's how it works, folks. It's a cash deal, bottom line, it's going to go through. You can see the market itself, what is it? I think it's like three bucks underneath it. Actually, two, two dollars and some cents. Um, you know, and if you're in Twitter, right, this is the way that you should look at this, right? If you're in Twitter, I would be selling Twitter. I wouldn't go for the last, you know, it's, it's 50, was it 54? 20. I wouldn't go for the last $3 here. And the reason being, as you can see how the market has got smacked, Twitter hasn't got smacked because of the fact that he has a number on it. But if this deal doesn't go through, and even if the market didn't continue to lower, Twitter would dive in about two seconds and dive in quite a way. So, you know, depending on w w how you're holding, I would not be holding for a couple dollars, particularly on uh, an Elon Musk deal. Some of the other higher... Some of the other higher equities out here, higher volume equities, that is, you have, uh, let's see, you get American Airlines down 34, Exxon's off three, three and a half, three dollars and ten cents, Netflix is down eight. Ooh, man, that's a trip. Let's go pull up Netflix. NFLX. This is, talk about taking a beating, man. Yeah. This is, you know, the low of last week was, uh, 210, you're 207 right now. You, you, you know, you're contracting with volume, and you should be contracting with volume because of the, of the way this went down. But bottom line is that um, you have no buyers. You have uh, sellers, and guess what? You need buyers for equities to go higher. Dow, Dow Industrials right now flat. NASDAQ is uh, up 23. Now S&P's uh, up, no, down 12. Come right back, folks. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 60, 69. Nasdaq's up 56. S&P's uh, down two and a half. And uh, let's, let's take a look at this one because this is the. there's going to be a lot of uh, speculation uh, as to, well, we have the speculation as to where Musk is going with Twitter. That's for sure. I'm going over to Digital World Acquisition. So Digital World Acquisition, folks, is uh, Donald Trump's new company, Truth. And... <laughs> Yeah, so the bottom line is that this equity here, because the real question is going to be is that does he go back on Twitter? This equity here, so last three months have gone from 101 to 34. And then it started out at 38. Okay, that, but I'll picture this. This is a SPAC, which is over $10. This is the thing that's amazing about this. But what you have here now is that this isn't an ABC down. So this baby here is, looks to me like, it, well, the ABC down is not $10. The ABC down is $20. It just took the B point out, took it out with volume. You can see the A point there is 74, 80. That was established out here uh, the 24th of March. The B point is 43. You got a 30 point A to B, and the C point is uh, 50. So you get a 20 point uh, deal. It's gonna, the whole thing's going to be intriguing. The XLE. So let's go take a look at the commodities in general. Commodities in general got the, you know taken pretty heavily here, folks. Uh, as the market has uh, the XLE, the oil market. Let's see what we got. I see. So came down with volume. Come back to the breakout. Well, you're coming into 62 million with 48. What see? What happens here is this. So you've rejected lower price today at the 71, but I wouldn't be biting on this right now because. When, with this type of high volume, this thing's going to retest itself. And I'm going to go from here. Well, let me go to the gold, uh, the oil contract first. Then I'm going to go to the gold contract. So I want to show you everything, folks, is going back, commodity-wise, is going back to where commodities took off from. Okay, so let's see. The oil contract actually looks pretty good. No, it didn't even break a swing. So the swing on the oil contract is 92.60. We went to 95.28 and we rejected it. It's not a bad setup, man. You still... Yeah, it didn't make the swing point. You get, you get volume here, but when you don't make the swing point, that's saying that, I guess what, this oil contract wants to go up. But I'd be careful on the XLE right now. Because when you have that much... 
uh, volume on the XLE, uh, most times that thing wants to get tested. Uh, S&Ps, they, they all just went positive right now. So, hey, let's go, we'll go over to the bonds. Let's go to the bonds next. So the bonds finally got a bounce going. You have the 10-year, still trading at 2.8. Oh, look at a can't hold price. Unreal. Yeah, no, this is not going anywhere. So this, the 10-year right now, the last time we bounced, you, you know, bounced for two days, this couldn't even hold price up at the 120 area. It went 119.22. And you can see you're going into this uh, 2.1 million contracts, and you're only doing 1.6. So that's telling us that, hey, guess what? You just, the note and bond market are still going to be basically generating lower price, higher yield. Let's go take a look at a couple of the big dogs out here. Amazon first. Amazon right now. That is that gap there. 27.36. We had 28. Yeah, this is not done. This is gonna. This is gonna go to the bottom and test this deal. It's up to 18 dollars. You know, we're down from like what 3,400 to 29. That's not bad. But this this is a consolidation. Microsoft go. To, let's okay. So Amazon's coming out with numbers. The 28th. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, this is this week. Oh, baby. Microsoft MSFT, I believe this is this week too. 26th, that's tomorrow. Aftermarket, okay, so Microsoft, let's look at Microsoft. Yeah, see, okay, so here, check this out. If Mike, Microsoft just came down to its lows too. Just, uh, it's so wild, man, how, like these swing points, they just come to the swing points. And bottom line is that, was this a, Daily, okay, it's on a daily, interesting. Because I, this is a rejection of lower price thus far on Microsoft. Because we're coming into the, the, the high volume lower one to test is 271.52. We hit 270.77 today. You have only 25 million shares versus 56. So that's saying you're gonna get a bounce on Microsoft, I mean, especially if it closes right here. Um, okay, so Microsoft, oh, Google, let's go to Google. So Google comes out tomorrow also, the 26th, after the market. Tomorrow's a big day, man. Okay. We take a look at Google. Oh. This is disaster. Holy cow. Okay, man. Here we go. This is intense, folks. Things are changing here, evidently, in the advertising business. Look at this. This is a monster ABC down. It's a total break. I gotta bring this closer so I can see what this looks like here. So, 2880, 2530. That's 350, right? That's gonna get you 23, 2275. Where's 2275? Yeah. Google's under the confirmed ABC structure down to 2275. So, here, check this out. So this is this is going to be so intriguing as to markets, individual equities. So when we just looked at Microsoft, Microsoft looks like it tested the bottom, rejected the bottom, wants to go higher. They're coming out with numbers. Google, just the opposite. Now, the difference with Google, when you take Microsoft on one side to Google on the other, is that Google looks like it wants to go so much further down that that would negate anything that Microsoft wants to do on the way up. And then the king dog here, Amazon, if that could just get down to the lows before it comes, they get their numbers out. But I don't think it's going to. That's the 28th. Well, the 28th is that's two days away. That might as well, that could be like months. The way this market's trading right now. Yeah, it's going to be a close one. Because see, it, it looks to me that the Amazon was goes 24.60. That high volume where it stopped breaking topside, and the last low we're talking about is 26. They yeah, have 26.67. So this is going to be a fun week, um, you know, and we'll see whether, you know, Microsoft can save the market. 
Uh, Google is certainly not going to save the market. You know, Amazon's close. Amazon could be close. Amazon could bounce again up and then come back down um, and go after it. You know, thus far, let's go back over the S&P again for a second because the S&P is making a run for the high again. Yeah, right now it's up $11. It just that way. It actually just took out as high. Okay, so how many minutes we're in? <laughs> That's six minutes. And. Okay, so we're. 35,027. That's sad. It should do it. You need 35,000 and four more minutes. And it has to close over 42.75. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 175. You get the NASDAQ uh, up 109. S&Ps are up 11 and a half. This, uh, let's go inside the Dow Industrials. This is quite a move by the Dow Industrials here. Let me just, I got to put this up on in an intraday basis because I believe from, it doesn't look that bad when you're taking a look at it, actually. I believe when I went, got on, it went from, positive to negative back to positive so inside the dow industrials the strength versus the weakness out here today you have uh point wise we have microsoft putting 35 positive points johnson and johnson 28 home depot 27 american express 22 taken away from it chevron minus 20 verizon minus 12 nike minus 8 and boeing minus 8 inside the ndx 100 what's moving the ndx 100 out here today you have Moderna is up 6.8%. You got uh, Fortnite up 6%. Uh, Match, Match Group is up 6%. Uh, Mercado Libre is up 6 
taken away from it. Netflix down three. You get ASML uh, down 2.7. Illumina is down 1.7. And Tesla is off 1.4. So let's go over to Tesla and might as well see what Elon's doing over here and with Tesla or what his equity is doing. Because he's basically putting some equity up and probably selling some equity in order to get this deal done. So, hey, we'll see what ends up happening here. This is building cars for lower price. I mean, my take, Tesla's going to go down into this. Uh, get that high volume low. The high of the low is 802. The low is 700. And that's game. That's how these things are set up, man. So, you, you got yourself quite a bounce out there. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we'll see if that can, that can stay. Uh, the OAH. Uh, oh, here. So, so let, me, let me go to the gold contract for a second because I want to show you the... It looks to me, once you, they start taking the whole market, meaning they took the other sectors outside of the commodity sectors, that started on Friday, continues out here today. You see in the gold contract, okay, you, you get a couple different levels. You get the level that where the highs were that generated last November, then you got really where they broke out the last run up. And, you know, you're dealing like basically with uh, 1858 and 1883. And all the equities, if we pull up the XAU, what you're gonna see here, as well as the HUI, they are also going back to where they broke out from. So the XAU today rejected 142. And let's see, yeah, this is good. For the XAU, it's good. Okay, that's the breakout, man. You know, I suspect what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have too much volume. So that has to be a retest, so you get when that normally happens, you get a little bounce and you come back at it again. Let me go to Newmont, because Newmont's been the leader on the way up, and then it got smoked on the way down. Yeah, this is, Newmont's not done going down. Yeah, this is not done. So it, w this would have been better if Newmont tested the low of last Friday, which was the 70-60, and it didn't. So you can see what happened. Newmont on Thursday went down with 15 million. Friday it went down with 12, and guess what? It's going up with six. That's not a recipe, folks, for higher price. That's a bummer. That's no doubt. Let's go to Barrick and take a look at Barrick. Um, okay, so you can see, and what I'm trying to show you here, my take is that even these gold stocks are going to go back to the breakout here. So back, like that's staying with Barrick, like that can go back to uh, 2140, 2120, and still at 2281. That's what normally happens. So you had a full run. Meaning that, you know, like this equity went from $18.26 up to 26 you know. So the bottom line, well, that's $8 for, you know, $21 stock. And they're all coming right back to the breakout area. Now, they are coming back to the breakout area in light of all I'm that's what they need. We'll see what uh, can get any juice underneath them. Uh, with the dollar wanting to go after the highs, I don't think it's going to be the dollar. <laughs> um, in fact, I wanted to go over the pound. Does it look like, gee, we were looking at the, the pound really got smoked. It was down, it's normally trading 130. Okay, so we're at 127. Look at that. Whoa, baby. Yeah, they took that south. Yeah, that's a breakdown. So if we did 136, that's six. 126 is a game. It made it to 120. It made it to 126 today. That swing point is 126.76. Well, that's gonna say it's gonna take some more work, man. That's the bottom line. And, you know, when you see that dollar, what has happened, folks, is that the dollar is the strongest currency against all currencies. Just, if you name the currency, guess what? The dollar is stronger. Um, I know. Let's go to Harmony because I want to show you something here. Now, my take is that these aren't buys yet. But with this dollar continue to go higher, if you happen to be you want to get in the gold market, keep your eye on Harmony and GFI because what has happened is that the RAND, Z-A-R, this RAND dollar, Z-A-R, has gotten so weak, 
the weaker this gets, the more they actually make. Because what ends up happening is that their expenses are in Rand dollars and they get paid in U.S. dollars. So as this gets, as this goes out, or goes higher, bottom line, that's they those South African equities make more money because the, the bottom line, you get paid in the U.S. dollars. Their expansion is in Rand dollars. You know, when we take a look at the uh, Okay, so S O X. Let's go take a look at the SOX index. The I shares. Okay, so this can't hold price either. So this is up four dollars right now. Now th this this equity, you know, this ETF. So we've gone from five fifty nine. Right now you're trading out at four fourteen, and you know, unless these, you know. Chip stocks can get going. It's a problem, and um, it looks to me like you know we're, we're out of the range now. 418 is the range now. Of course, you can get four points pretty easy, uh, but you're out of the range, man. You're, you're out of the range. Just think, go. I put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, it makes sense. It it got some support here because this is where the support is in 2021. Yeah, but you get sideways moves. There's not. Uh, XLF. They're telling me the XLF has done a hammer out here. Let's see what we got. That's well, not a hammer, first off, but there's a hammer you need to top between the open and the close twice the length as, as the tail. And, excuse me, folks. So this came down to the bottom of its consolidation last week. Yeah, the volume's lightening it up here. The volume is lightening it up. You know, so this will probably you know, get a little get a little juice going on it. The the bottom of that consolidation is the thirty five eighteen, um, two hundred and seventy seven eighty times five is four hundred. No, this is this is still going to be high volume, man. But see, even last week, see see last week we did two seventy seven. You're going into four sixty eight. You can, that's what now. See you coming into the lower swing. And you had volume contracting. That's what it takes to get to higher price. Because as you come into that swing, as the volume contracts, bottom line is showing that the sellers have let up. You don't need a lot of buying, and that's what you have in the XLF. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 221. You get the NASDAQ up 128. S&Ps are up 17 and a half. And don't forget, folks, as you come over to our website, let me pull this up right now. Uh, at TFNN, you are going to see right... Uh, let's get this up first. You go right under services, and under services, you are going to see the Trader's Den trading room. This is Discord, folks, okay? The bottom line, you just hit that, you can join our trading room for $1. It's $1 a year, great trading room. You get tigers and tigresses from all over the world trading in it every day. Um, you know, great ideas coming across the room. So check it out at TFNN. Um, really, you know, it's, it's a great community. And that community is active, folks. Uh, bottom line, seven o'clock in the morning to, you know, five or six o'clock at night, depending on uh, how many earnings are coming out. But there's a lot of great traders in there, a lot of great ideas, no crystal balls, but Guess what? None of us have a crystal ball. We all have great ideas, but um, it's a great venue to really understand like what's happening in the market. You get a lot of sets of eyes on the market, and it helps everyone. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at these now on a just a daily basis, because there's no doubt that you know this market came back a lot. Um, that being said, though. So, seeing when you're looking at this market right now, that's not a hammer, and the spy's not. And the reason being, folks, is that it had opened too low, it's up too high, um, you know, bottom line, to me, what you're going to actually have here, you're going to have another low with high volume. And in the spy, you can see quite clearly that, you know, this is a pretty intense number down here at that 410. The SPY was doing an ABC structure on the way down at 4.17. Now, we hit 4.18.84. Like you can say, okay, is that it? You know, we'll see. But I suspect it's not because the swing that's going into only has 95 million. We're already down 98. And you're going to see some big volume come in at the close here. We go take a look at the NDX100, the three Qs. And the three Qs, the ABC structure, and you can see, see what's happening here. The Qs actually even a higher volume. So the three Qs, the ABC structure there, brings it below the lows of 318. Let's to do this quick in my head again. 371, you got 36 bucks. That's 310. No, 317. No, 310. 310 is the number. And 318 is the low. You know, and I think that what well, that's going to be, I suspect, folks, that's going to be the battle with Microsoft and Google. That's how I think that's going to set up. Because Google, um, you know, we got to remember something. You have Google inside the MDX. You know, it's not the MDX 100 anymore because of the fact, let's see when I bring them all up, you're going to see Google A, Google B. It doesn't say Google A and Google B, but yeah, they're right at the top. You know, um, you, you get the gist of it. Waiting-wise, that is a very large waiting inside the MDX 100. Um, Salesforce. Let's go take a look at Salesforce out here. Salesforce is trading 174. Okay, so this this broke a B point Friday too. Whoa, baby, that's 271, 180. What? 
Don't miss this. Start of the gap. 205. That's 15. 93, 83, 78. This is a tricky one. It's not tricky. I, it, to me, it looks like it wants to go down, but it's like, where is the A, B, C, A to B? And hey, let me show you. This is what I did with this, folks, okay? So when there's a gap, do you see how there's, there's a gap in between there? Well, when there's a gap, that, the way that you, well, this is all basically, you know, technical analysis, so nothing is firm. But when there's a gap, I take the next day because that is like another swing point. And when you take it that way, it's already hit. It's A to B equals to C to D. Let me put this on a weekly and see what we got. So on a weekly, oh, this is not good. On a weekly, oh, then that's good. On the weekly, you needed, no, what? We needed volume of 33 million, and you got 35. This could be a very large ABC structure down. Wow. This is, this, this equities here that have really got smoked. And then, okay, so let's, let's go overseas so you can see uh, in Shanghai last night what went on because the Shanghai market, Let's put this up here. The CSI, well, the CSI was down 4.9%. And I believe this broke out the May, March lows. Take this. What's going after them? The, lo the March lows is 3503. The high of that is 3899. We're already into it. Um, you're talking about a one-way trip down, 5,900 to 3,800. The Nikkei, I was having a tough time also, Nikkei, NKE. No, NKY. Yeah. So the Nikkei was down 514. That hasn't broken the swing yet. You know. Markets uh, across the world, though, they were, they were down pretty heavy last night, folks. Um, you know, our, our markets today, yeah, not bad. You're up uh, 24 points. Uh, small caps are up 12. NASDAQ is up 142. That's not enough. That's not enough. That's, that's a, really a sideways move, uh, building cause for lower price. And the tricky thing about this is trading right here is this. Because we've been down so much, right? This is like, okay, so this will be the fourth time. If the S&P is finished flat, okay, we got 11 minutes. Well, you got more than 11 minutes, but if they finish flat, this is what you have. You have dip buyers come in, didn't make it. Almost made it, didn't make it. Come in again. Almost made it, didn't make it. Come in again. Almost make it, didn't make it. That is a real problem because, as I said at the beginning of the program, what happens is that it's all about energy. And the energy in the marketplace as when folks buy it and it does not hold price is problematic in a monster way. Because what ends up happening is that energy is expended, the capital is expended, and then all of a sudden the capital goes from positive to negative. You don't get the follow through. So just remember that when you're going one after the other, it's trying to get a grasp, trying to get a grasp, can't do it, sells off again. Tries to get, tries to get, sells off again. Tries to get, tries to get, sells off again. You know, there's not enough fear in this marketplace. That's, that's the real bottom line. If we go over um, and you take a look at the tick, I was looking at the tick on Friday. You know, you got a couple good ones. It was minus 16 something. Let's see what we got here. So, yeah, we had minus 1670. But you can see out here today, there's no fear. It was only minus 1394. And there should be fear, folks, because the bottom line is that, you know, you were down pretty hard on Friday. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow. Dow Industrial's up 200. NASDAQ's up 117. S&P's up 14. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. 
At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow's up 268. You get the Nasdaq up 153. S&Ps are up 24. So the next Fed meeting, folks, is going to be uh, you have a two-day meeting. It wraps up on May 4th. And the Fed just came out and said that uh, Powell is going to have an in-place um, news conference. So uh, that Fed meeting is right around the corner. And uh, that Fed meeting, the expectation is that you're going to be, they are going to be going up uh, 50 basis points. The thing that's amazing looking at the Fed funds rate, folks, okay, you remember something. So, yeah, let me just bring this up so you can understand. The Fed is basically looking to get to 2.5. And you can see if you're watching my screen, you know, right now you're at a half a point. So it's two full points. The low end of the band is 0.25. The higher end of the band is 5.0. Bottom line, they want to go to 2.5. You go to 2.5, just do the math on it, man. You know, and then you have plenty of folks say that the bond market is ahead of themselves. Well, you know, we'll see if the bond market is ahead of themselves. My, my take is that, uh, you know, you're going to see some interest rate structure that uh, we haven't seen since 1994. And I, I remember it so well because what had happened is that, you know, there were so many people that had bought bonds, you know, to be safe, that they just didn't want to be in the market. And, uh, you know, some of them had bond funds, and they got smoked. I mean, very quickly, because what happened in 94, I believe it was either six or eight times in a row. It was just normal that every single time that Greenspan would come up, another half, they were going quarter points at that time. That's what they were doing. And bottom line is that, yeah, he had to turn it around, but it just never stopped. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the bottom line. And right now, the 10 years at 2.83, I believe. And we hit... 2.9 last week. Now, yeah, we're 2.82 right now. We hit 2.936 uh, last week. So, going to be a wild one. Volume wise, out here, what we did out here today, we take a look at the NYSE. Right now, it's 825, so that'll do a billion. 
Inside the NASDAQ composite, composite is at uh, 4.2. That's going to probably do 4.5, 4.6. And uh, we kick into tomorrow. And uh, after the close tomorrow, I think the battle is going to be, uh, you know, Microsoft looks higher and Google looks a lot lower. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. 